hello welcome back to the tarot closet welcome if you're new to the channel thank you so much for joining me aries sun moon rising venus signs welcome to another aries tarot reading aries love tarot reading aries love reading and as is pretty much always the case here at the tarot closet aries love messages channeled Love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Let's take a look at the energy that is coming in, Aries. Wow. So it's the Ten of Swords and the Three of Wands here. We are looking at a no contact, no communication, and or in separation energy. However, it could be that there's just some complications communicating it's like maybe one or the other or everything you could say sun and gemini energy and this is coming to me in a reversal energy it's coming here with the three of wands this is your energy aries sun and aries energy somebody here is coming in with an apology there could be literal travel that's going on here could also be around a message phone call you know, that sort of thing. It's not necessarily going to be literal travel, although that is here. It is a coming together energy. Divine number, divine timing. Like it's time now. A new cycle for sure. What happened within that ton of swords that there is an apology even coming in? Necessary in coming in. Let's take a closer look. Aries, I just want to remind you that this is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. It's a general tarot reading. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. Let's take a look at this energy that is continuing to come in. Yeah, look at that. Here we go. The Magician and the Ace of Wands. Aries, you're in this energy as well as Leo and Sagittarius. Somebody's definitely getting inspired, making this move, apologizing. I'm really hearing finally here. Everything's lined up. They've got all the resources. Did they have them before? Did they, did something not come through? Yeah, I think so. Gemini and Virgo energy here in the magician. As above, so below. Somebody getting focused, turning these visions literally into reality. We just saw that coming in with the Three of Wands in that Ten of Swords and Reverse Energy of an Apology. The Magician is connected both to the Solar Plexus Chakra, I do, and the Throat Chakra, I speak. A new cycle for sure, new beginnings. What potential is around the connection? Because I do want to point out that it's the Magician. You know, there's an alchemizing energy there, so... It is this feeling of like hoping that this apology can mend things. Perhaps it's leading back together. That energy of hope is here. Let's continue on. All your readings, Aries, your playlist, I should say, are linked in the description of today's video. Also here at the Tarot Closet on the Playlist tab, you will find all 12 zodiac signs, all signs, tarot readings, collective love readings, if you're on a Twin Flame journey, there are many very long, very in-depth Twin Flame readings below and a lot more. So feel free to check everything out if you're inspired to do so. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing and liking today's video, subscribing to the Tarot Closet. I really appreciate it. Let's get in. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels and Ancestors. Please show us the card, Saho. the page of pentacles in reverse the nine of wands in reverse ten of wands in reverse yeah <laughs> working their way into making this apology communicating look what is here and where their energy is really strong it's the king of swords and the three of cups so king of swords energy gemini and Mercury energy, this person has been thinking about this for a while. And it's right here connecting with the Ten of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Wands in reverse. So wanting to 
get out of this no contact energy, like kind of putting some defenses down, also getting over some fear. We're seeing here also with our page of pentacles in reverse, like trying to figure out how to come in. And I want to mention that it's also connecting connecting for me with kind of how you got here in the first place. So if this is around, yeah, some issues obviously with commitment here. But the Nine of Pentacles and then going into that Ten in the reversal energy, Jupiter and Sagittarius energy with our King of Swords. This is somebody who definitely wants to end no contact. And I want to point out that if you can see them, Aries, if you know they're going to be at a particular event or they could be, at a particular event, then they probably are. You know, this is where I feel like they're kind of, it almost feels like sideways, like looking over from another position, wherever this could be, you know, but sort of like waiting to make their move. If you can see them, it's likely at this event that you know they're going to be at or they could be at. And it could be things around family and friends, celebratory type of events. But I want to mention, this is Mercury energy, Mercury and Cancer. And it, it can be a reunion energy, and that energy is really here. It's strong. And that card there is yours. We'll get it in a moment. With our King of Swords, who's been thinking about what they want to say, how to approach this for a while, you can even see they're just kind of look that almost like they don't want to be interrupted here. But our King of Swords, that's a transactional energy, clarity, truth, information. Again, coming here with the Three of Cups, it's like they want to get you alone. So if you can see each other for sure, but I want to mention that Mercury energy also here in the King of Swords and the Magician we saw coming in is connected to reading and writing. So we could also be looking at a text message, SMS, some kind of message through social media or an email, that sort of thing. But it really is about how you normally communicate. So if you are normally communicating by way of phone call or you can see each other, then that's most likely how it's going down. The stars here at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius and Uranus energy. It's this person coming in here. And there's a lot of healing energy in the star, renewal hope, clarity. You know, the star is where you go when you get out of the tower energy, which we do not see here. Could be that there was a tower moment. And I think to some extent there was, it's just going to be really specific for you because obviously they have an apology to make. You know, we saw that 10 of swords. So something had changed, ended. Some things went transpired, obviously, between the two of you. This is the star energy is where you go when you get out of the tower energy, you know, and it's affinity. It's this person coming in and there's a lot of healing energy as they come in. Look, our King of Swords is actually, is almost waiting on <laughs> this star here. Interesting. Of course, this is coming to an eight and well, that's mastery. You know, it's infinity as well and truth balance and renewal, it also connects us, of course, to the justice energy and the magician, of course, which also came through, who is has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire. So really isn't just coming in with an empty apology, like there's something behind it, like it's it feels real, you know? So the conversation is just really, really clear. Stars aligning kind of energy. Okay. King of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse. The Lovers is here. Gemini energy. Venus energy. The Lovers is connected, of course, to the Heart Chakra. And this is Archangel Raphael who just wants to heal what's broken. There's definitely communication and an apology that they're trying to bring in here. And Archangel Raphael, of course, is connected to the heart chakra, but also the throat chakra I speak. Yeah, this is definitely an apology that, I don't know, it could be that it's been needing to happen for a long time, but things are, are lining up somehow here. So again, if you're going to see this person at an event, or you think you can see this person, then that's most probably likely that they are there. I want to mention 
the validation in, in terms of the commitment energy, somebody not following through with something connected, obviously, to your relationship, the King of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo ruled by Mercury energy. So there's definitely a lack of follow through energy there. And it's really, it's catty corner here to the Page of Pentacles energy. So it was, this was, I guess you could say if it was a moment, it's kind of like this is when, when or how, why, a strong connection to going into that Ten of Swords energy of some complications coming up, of some breakup energy, separation. So that's really clear. And it's right here in the partnership placement with the Nine of Wands in reverse. So yeah, it's like getting out of preparing really here more for getting out of no contact and then you can see it happening here. However, with our Page of Wands, it's a validation that this person has been in some energy of like trying to figure out how to come. It could be that they're younger. It doesn't mean that they are. But we also know that this wand has already been, I guess you could say, handed off to the Magician because the Magician is making that happen. The Magician, the King of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Star, the Lover's card. Is there something coming in in addition to an apology, look what is here. I think so. <laughs> so it's both the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I will tell you what is in this Ace of Cups for sure. There is an apology in here. But I think there might be something else as well. Sometimes this can be around marriage proposals. Do I think somebody's coming in here with a marriage proposal? It's not really clear at this point. And even so, it's probably not for everybody, but this is definitely somebody who still loves you, who loves you, who really owes you an apology, who really wants to get out of no contact and apologize, as well as, yeah, there's a lot that they want to say here. Look, so our King of Swords, our Ace of Cups, and right here on the other end, the Knight of Swords, Libra and Mercury energy. This is what's really interesting actually about this energy is they have a lot to say. So it's somebody who has been holding back, I feel like for even when you were together, there's some information and things that they were holding back. But even now, and is that a rooster or is that a chicken? Well, for me, I want to tell you my initial feeling upon seeing this is that I mean just even look at their eyes it's like I want to contact you but I'm a big chicken energy I know <laughs> don't ask but that's just the energy that's coming through because this person has a lot of explaining to do and it is coming here with the ace of cups so there's more than an apology but there's definitely a sincere apology in in that cup and I want to bring in some more and it's turning. Oh yeah, look, it's turning into a bottoms up energy. And we're going to talk about everything that's coming in here in just a moment. Two of pentacles, as you can see, connecting here with the king of swords. The two of swords, the decision here, look on both sides. The Queen of Wands, so getting the confidence here to communicate, to tell the truth. Look where the, the Queen of Wands is looking right over here at the Queen of Swords, who's actually in reverse. Yeah, who's connected here to our King of Pentacles in reverse and our Page of Pentacles in reverse. So obviously, not being honest, something going on with your relationship. And there's the Tower energy. And... Yeah, the, the tower is, is coming in here in reverse, but I got to tell you, there's a couple of things happening for me. First of all, it just had that energy that there was some kind of tower moment, you know, whatever that was for you. But so there is the upright energy here for me, too, that I feel something has changed. And this is kind of, well, yeah, this is a new cycle. It's the after energy. It's coming here to apologize. There's a lot of healing energy here. A sincere apology. There's something more as well. Ace of Cups, Lover's Card. But this tower in reverse also is connecting to somebody not being honest here. 
and a strong validation of that with our Queen of Swords in reverse, Libra ruled by Venus and the King of Pentacles. So not following through with some commitment issues. What, what does that mean for you? Look, the world card, by the way, is sitting here waiting to be seen. Were you in a long-term partnership? Were you building it? Was it on the table? There was something dishonest around that. And I do feel like there was some kind of discord, you know, some kind of arguing perhaps, but definitely somebody behaving a little bit, <laughs> a little bit, a lot immaturely kind of got everything where it is now. But this reversal energy as well, connecting here, I mean, look, it's connecting, yeah, to the past energy. It's also connecting to this energy of somebody who is afraid of some kind of change. And I want to tell you, it's connecting really strongly for me today with next, perhaps where you are or next level in the relationship. So if you had already built a, a long-term partnership or a life together, you were building it or it was on the table, there was something here, obviously, that this person maybe wasn't honest about what they were ready for, how far they wanted it to go, or something even in connection to them that they didn't tell you that didn't allow things to move forward. Because there's definitely some dishonest energy here and they want to come in here and explain themselves. They want to apologize. The other thing here is we can see that whatever reason this King of Pentacles is in reverse, whatever was holding this person back from out of fear, you know, of, of change. So whether it's just commitment, it's to make a decision between you could say a whole lifestyle, like somebody here in the world card, like living somewhere else, a long distance energy. In a job, they would have to leave perhaps other relationships because that's here in the two of pentacles. There is a decision here. There are commitment issues. One of those pentacles is yours. And we can see that this person obviously made the wrong decision, is coming back in here to apologize to explain themselves and I feel to ask for another chance or at least put it back on the table because there is a I choose you energy here. It's just really strong. The lover's card, the star, the ace of cups, they have a lot of explaining to do. You can see in the two of swords, the moon and Libra energy that there is a, a de decision is here and there is a compromise here. And we also have the world card, this major arcana, which is obviously very, very telling that perhaps somebody wasn't willing or ready, like somebody was available, somebody wasn't. Somebody was ready, somebody wasn't. Wasn't ready to compromise and leave perhaps a job or an apartment or change a location. Something else that you know, again, changing also maybe something around the commitment, like singlehood, afraid to come out of that or afraid to not feeling like not ready to start a family or to move in, that kind of energy. This is an energy here of somebody who I feel has something has changed because they're coming in here both with the apology and they're coming in here ready to make these life changing decisions decisions, <laughs> excuse me. And whatever is going down in this conversation between you, Aries, here in our lover's card and our world card, it's a strong indication that there is a decision between the two of you to make. So life-changing decisions around this person, by the way, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy here, so ready to compromise and move, ready to get out of their fear of commitment. You know, whether if it's just commitment, going to another level, ready to make a decision and choose the, your, the path, the two of you, you know, in the direction you were either already heading or you had plans to go toward. And again, life-changing decisions together. The world card is the last major arcana before you go into the full energy. So this is a completion energy. It's like working through the whole cycle. It's like whatever was holding things back 
around this person for the two of you. That energy, it's like completion energy around that. And so life-changing decisions, again, a move, move toward you literally, physically, or just obviously coming here to communicate. But also a life-changing decision, perhaps decisions for you to make together. Because the lover's card, it, it doesn't always come through for me that there's a decision to be made. It is really clearly coming through here today because this is somebody who I feel like you were either in a relationship with or you saw your life with. You know, you were already building it and for whatever reason, they weren't being honest. And yeah, it didn't follow through. So whether it was next level and moving in, building a family, deciding to... Somebody moving away, do you know what I mean? Moving away from a situation or a city, state, country, because that's also really strong here in the world card, like the world, like immigration kind of energy. Whatever they were afraid of before and kind of how things ended up where they are, it's like getting out of that fear and being ready somehow. So either available or being ready now. And of course, coming with that is a very strong apology. And again, if you can see each other in person, you know, here at this event, somebody might even be coming, again, traveling from somewhere to go to this, should you be able to see them. That's a really, really strong, <laughs> why is that? Roses are driving me crazy right now. That's a really strong validation. But again, it's not just about literal travel in terms of like somebody getting in a car or on a plane. It's also the energy toward you. And it's really, really, really strongly connected for me today with this conversation, with the apology. So somebody almost too, I feel like they're waiting for it. If you're going to see this person, it's kind of like they want you to themselves. They're going to wait for other people to leave, maybe even kind of giving them a side eye, like they just want to talk to you because I do feel like there's third party involvement and definitely could be around other things like locations and romances. But I'm talking about the conversation. So maybe what you've told people or what they know you've told people, somehow there is a little bit of I don't know, embarrassment or shame or what. They don't want other people to know. So there's some kind of energy. If you're seeing them, it's like they're really wanting to talk to you alone. You might, there might even be like, let's take a walk or going like to talk somewhere else. And again, should this be by way of message, you know, phone call, that kind of energy. It's still this energy that they want to... Yeah, they have a lot of explaining to do, but they want they want it just to go to you. There's some there's something I don't know what what it is exactly. Why is it feeling like there's maybe secretive even? I don't know. I think you're probably gonna know what that is. But they're definitely coming in here with a very sincere apology, and I do feel that it's always. It's, it's almost like it's always been you. There's just something around, yeah, this two of pentacles. And they, they made actually a decision already. It was the wrong one. It kind of got everything where it is now. But it's somebody who, who very clearly is coming back in here to apologize, who does love you, who I feel like you love too. And I do feel there is some, like a, a love offer coming in here. Commitment. Well, this just gets me, though. <laughs> it's, it's like, uh, you know, the chicken energy here. That sword, there's a whole lot of clarity in that sword. Transactional energy and truth. Definitely truth necessary. We see here in our Queen of Swords in reverse. The Tower in reverse. There's definitely some dishonesty. And I do feel like it has to do with commitment issues, obviously. But connecting to something deeper like yeah family moving in that sort of energy next level the world card is a divine number divine timing 
It's like karmic debts paid, lessons learned energy, obstacles out of the way, whatever they are for this person. And connecting with that magician card, the alchemizing energy too. So some of the obstacles here, obviously the commitment stuff is just around this person. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse. Thank you, spirit guides, angels and ancestors. Please show us the cards for Aries. Aho. growth. It's a bouquet here too, which oftentimes is connected to, like if you think of somebody apologizing or even going to an event, look at that and bringing some flowers. There could be some flowers here exchanged, but for me this is more of representing both the apology and where things can go from here with that. I mean, more than an apology is definitely necessary here. There's some really big life-changing decisions that somebody, which I feel like is this person here, wasn't ready to make, which I feel like they're, they're wanting to make them now. They're ready to make them now. They're beginning to make them now. So the potential for growth is really strong. Soulmate. Wow. Yeah, so seeing you as a soulmate, a soulmate energy obviously coming through. Two people here together. You against the world kind of energy. I'm putting this here with the world card. Wow, yeah, cosmic order, timing for sure. Beginning, middle end, life, death, rebirth. Divine number, divine timing, cosmic order. Community. So this is both coming together, but I want to point out, you can see the, the tree stump. You know, there's like, those lines represent years. So first of all, this is a coming together energy for me, but there, it's also validating that there could be other people around and literally in, in the conversation, should, should that be the case? But it's also a really long-term energy. You know, it's the a tree. I mean, it's the earth energy. So it's definitely connecting with the earth energy for me. And that's also connecting me with the root chakra, which is where the world card is. Hello. That camera's going to make me crazy. <laughs> As I was saying, with the world card connected to the root chakra, when that is centered, when that is balanced, when that is aligned, that's getting out of fear of the future, fear of making changes, fear of commitment, fear of making compromises, decisions that, you know, whether it's just commit, they're just afraid of committing, making a commitment in general, or they've been afraid of going the next level, like, again, Ace of Cups, marriage, family, even perhaps introducing families or blending families. This is getting out of that fear. It's like ready to make the move, ready to make the decisions. And by the way, that's just really clear with the lover's card here as well. The lover's card, the world card. It's time here. Cosmic order, soulmate, growth. The ace of cups, the star. Like just coming back in here. This person has made a decision. This is around commitment for sure. Transformation. Wow. Wow. So what's interesting about that, and I just want to get these, these energies before, because they're yours. Look, messenger. So obviously communication. And it's really a direct connection to Facebook Messenger for some of you, but I know it's not for everybody. This is also connecting with, yeah, that the energy of the star, literally the crown chakra. Messages, you know, spiritual messages, like downloads, the divine connection here, the spiritual connection, this person knowing, understanding the connection, but also, you know, just following the path, like it's time, literally here, cosmic order, the world card, like it's just time, what can I say, but transformational energy is here, and you can see it's at like a train station, there's one stem, 
two flowers coming up. So it's both around, this is actually saying like post, it's like connected to mail. So it's both a strong connection to the communication, but this is also connecting me to the death card. And not, not a bad place to be because it's telling me that this person is getting out of the hangman energy where things have been, I think, for a while. Indecisive energy, somebody who hasn't been taking action because when you get out of the hangman energy and it is around some timing, divine number, divine timing, you go into the death card, Scorpio energy, there are changes, there are paradigm shifts, you know, and you can see that they're getting out of the fear, which has been really strong here around commitment for whatever reasons, A, B, C, you know, I think they're really going to be probably specific for you. And it goes without saying that it's also getting out of the ego to make the apology, to even open up the communication, because there, there has been some fear around that as well. It's somebody, again, I feel like they're kind of, whether it's sending a message in or walking up to you at an event, they're, there's a little bit of hesitancy, like they're just a little bit of trying to get the courage here in our Knight of Swords. I want to contact you. I want to communicate, but I'm a big chicken. You know, it's really strong energy for me today. Explore with our bear. So really strong validation, just first of all, if there's travel energy. I mean, look at all the energy. We also have a butterfly here, the tr more of the transformational energy, transformational energy. But in particular, monarch butterfly, they wait until storms pass, you know, like timing in order to go out because the bad weather can damage their wings or worse. So, and it's a bear coming out. It's like coming out of hibernation, uh, literally on the move here. Look, it could be actual, he really major travel for some of you with our world card. That can be going across the world, immigration. You know, somebody who has to possibly leave a whole life behind. Now that's real specific, but I, I want to point out that it is here. And in general, this person coming back in and moving towards you is really clear also, again, the communication look here in the Three of Cups, exploring the possibilities. Also, the direction for you to both go. Wow. So they're listening. Yeah, downloads. Look, listen, there's a divine messenger here, and it's coming with revelation. But this is also about the two of you, I feel, the conversation and their revelation energy, there's more writing, there's more, you know, communicative energy also here. And kind of like a problem solving too, you can see the numbers. But this is connecting with judgment, which is connected to the crown chakra, I know. And Archangel Gabriel, specifically to the sacral chakra, I feel in the third eye chakra, I see. Wake up. Get some clarity. Make a decision. What do you want? They've had a revelation. So there's a lot of, <laughs> the way that just came out, there's a lot of apologetic energy here. There is a really big apology, like, please forgive me. But there's a lot of clarity and there's a lot of truth. This lover literally here from the past listening and also listening quite literally to Archangel Gabriel here in Revelation. Look at the healing energy here in the Lotus of what do you want? What do you want? Get some clarity. Make a decision. Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, the Lover's card. Lover from the past coming in. How far back? I think it's just going to be really specific to you. What do you want? I want reconciliation for sure. This is not somebody who's coming in here to apologize, Aries, to say goodbye or close things. This is somebody who doesn't want to lose you. And you, you were already either on a path or you were building it or at the very least it was on the table and something changed here and made this person, this person was afraid. They're still afraid to communicate, but they're definitely going to. And they're ready for more than that. This is going way beyond that. Let's bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self.
the tarot closet. What do you want to say to your Aries? I feel your energy. I miss you. You are the love of my life. Aries. Going here with our lover's card. Yeah, there are really, there are really big decisions being made here. All around, I feel like with everybody. And timing wise, it's real specific for you. I <laughs> just wanted to show that my world is dark without you. You are my other half. Soulmate energy, very strong here today. This person seeing you as a soulmate, I do want to validate that if you're on a twin flame journey, the energy is here. It may be probably timing wise something a little different for you. And I know not everybody's on a twin flame journey or cares or follows it, and that's completely fine. If you are resonating, definitely. Obviously, there's messages here for you, but definitely check out the Twin Flame readings in the playlist below and also here at the Tarot Closet because you'll get really specific readings as well, wherever you're drawn. You are the love of my life. Look, yes, I know you love me. So many songs remind me of you. I care too much what people think. So that could definitely be connecting here in our Two of Pentacles energy. Capricorn and Saturn, by the way, with, yeah, decisions that they've been afraid to make. Maybe, again, even around other people, it's like bringing in some higher font energy, people who have expectations or people who don't approve or social, cultural, religious differences, social status, you know? Somebody who's afraid that if they make a change, it changes things for them. Or they weren't making, they're not making really big changes that benefit the two of you because other people have been kind of involved. I really want to hold you. Please forgive me. That's been really, really strong here today, in particular with our revelation. I want to kiss you and I want to hold you. Okay, <laughs> so there's some of that energy coming in. It's really hard living without you. I'm sorry, I ran. The tarot closet channeled, more channeled love messages, I should say. Wow, okay. <laughs> Try to get me to, I feel like, read them all. That's a lot. I'm so sorry I hurt you. We are soulmates, so that's a really strong validation. That's been the energy of how they're seeing it. Obviously, we have, you know, the soulmate energy is really strong here also in the world card. We have the soulmate card. We have the lover's card. We have, soul, we have many soulmates, romantic and otherwise. They come and they go. They come in, they stay. They connect us to other people, to other things. This is somebody definitely who's understanding the connection. It's incredibly strong. We are soulmates. This is just, wow. It's very goosebumpy because they're really, really wanting to make this clear. Again, as we talk about soulmates, we are soulmates. So we are soulmates and going on about that. And then you are my soulmate. Like I want you to know how I, how this is. You are my other half. I reread our messages. It went right here, interestingly, with the star and messenger. So if you have messages within even Facebook or on the phone, that sort of thing, emails, they're looking at them. They're reading them. It's like they're looking for clues because this King of Swords energy, this is somebody who's got intent about why they're coming and what they want to say. They're very intentional about it, strategic. They've been thinking this out for a while. 
We were destined to meet. Fate and destiny, that's connecting us with the star. Understanding the connection is really, really, really clear. And that's also connecting us with the Wheel of Fortune, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. I've never felt like this. Yeah, I feel your energy. We are soulmates. Really understanding it. I took you for granted. Also understanding the past energy here. Right here on the King of Pentacles in reverse and the I'm sorry I ran. Well, if that's just not incredibly clear, I don't know what is. Yeah, and I was stupid. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> Do you miss me too? I miss you. Do you miss me too? The last channeled love message, message from their higher self, Aries. Wow, okay, you are my person. You are the love of my life. We are soulmates. You are my soulmate. You are my other half. You are my person. Extremely clear. Aries, it's been my honor to channel for you. Thank you so very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you being here, watching, sharing if you're inspired to do so, subscribing to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. I appreciate it. I'm sending you love and light as always, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye Aries.